Today I'm going to be opening up a keyboard that I'm buying on Amazon and uh, I'm interested to see what exactly. So, for some reason, they decided to give me a really big box. Alright guys, it's time. It's one of the more cheaper Razer keyboards that are on Amazon and probably their website as well. Like you probably find this on Razer, uh, probably in stores as well. But I decided to get it on Amazon because they had a used one, which is this one, for I think it was fourteen dollars less than the uh, the original. So, oh, by the way, that uh, I ended up spending twenty six dollars on this, and the original price was like forty. So I expected it was a box inside of a box, and uh, it looks like we got a use like new. Um, this was a Razer uh, keyboard here, the Razer Sinosa. Cy okay, Sinosa Lite. And um, so uh, let's open this baby up. They even gave me the stickers, meaning whoever actually ended up uh, returning this actually didn't use the stickers, which is kind of surprising to be honest. Yeah, dude, this is um, this is um, a black keyboard, very black. It's not. Looks like um, it's pretty honestly. It looks nice. Uh, I like the ones with the number pads on the side over here. It's always really helpful and uh, pretty convenient. It's still really nice to be honest. Like. Uh, they're, they're actually quite quiet, which is nice. Um, and that's honestly what I wanted was, this is supposed to be like a stealther keyboard. Uh, so I'm gonna show you guys what exactly is wrong with my uh, keyboard that I have right now. The last keyboard that I had was, um, uh, it was like an actual gaming keyboard, but it was uh, handed down to me and I ended up, um, it was having some problems with some of the keys. The shift key was a little bit busted. Uh, the space bar was broken, and I would literally hit the bar. There was like a little like metal bar that I would press. Dude, it's got kickstands. Dude, my kickstands. I actually this one has kickstands. The other one was broken. All right, guys. So I'm gonna demonstrate here what's wrong. Uh, we're gonna go across all these keys, and then one of them uh, are, is gonna stick. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there we go. And uh, that's the worst one right there. The alt key, you press on it and it literally, yeah, you have to literally get under it to actually bring it back up. It's, uh, I've tried pulling these off, I've tried cleaning them and everything. It's honestly just a very old uh, keyboard here. So I ended up getting a Acer PC for my Christmas present. It wasn't anything like super powerful. I could play like flash games and that's it. But uh, this is the, the keyboard that I actually used and uh, it's done me uh, quite a bit of time. And to be honest, this has always been a really nice backup keyboard. And um, I, I get it, it's not like uh, really like super nice and everything. It doesn't glow, it doesn't uh, have any crazy advanced keys or anything. But uh, it, it's it served its time, and um, I think that um, it's about time to get rid of it. All right, so now that you guys have seen my old keyboard, and you know what I've been playing on and using for quite a while now, it, it's time to plug in the brand new keyboard. All right, so I wasn't really expecting this, but uh, it, it, it apparently there's a software with it, which I guess makes sense because it's a glowing keyboard. All right, so we're going to be getting a tutorial now that I signed up, so let's get into it. Yeah, so this is actually really neat, and I'm actually gonna mess with this so that I can create something. Uh, it actually gives you the like the option to just sit here and make pretty much your own colors and everything, and it's actually able to tell on um, the keyboard that I specifically have, which is really cool. Um, so I'm gonna just play around with it, see what I can come up with. All right, all right, you guys. So uh, we got the green. Oh. Alright guys, so we got the white light and then the green light. I put it on the breathing mode just because uh, 
I kind of like the whole breathing look. Um, I was into the fire look as well, but um, I think I'm gonna go with the breathing look for now. I wanted to choose something that would uh, kind of represent the whole St. Patty's Day for the March, so I thought that would be pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, it, it's honestly pretty nice. So the one thing that kind of sucks about um, this is that it's not the actual backboard, it's actually just the keys, which is okay, because that's actually what I wanted. Uh, because all of the ones with the backboard that glow are way much more. So uh, I decided to get the one with the keys. Now you are limited to what you can do. You can only, you, you can't select each individual key to color them. But if you had one of the nicer keyboards that are a little bit more pricier, then you could probably do it. But uh, yeah, I'm going to leave a link down below so you guys can pick up one of these if you guys want to. Uh, so far, the keys are feeling great and everything, and uh, I, I can already tell a difference um, compared to my old keyboard, that this will be a nice keyboard to game with. Um, if you like hearing your keys, then it's probably not a good idea, but um, for me, this is, uh, I would say, good height. Uh, the, the colors, you know, what you can do with it. I guess the actual technology of this keyboard is actually pretty, uh, pretty good, and uh, I was able to pick it up for $26.00 which is actually the price of a pretty crappy keyboard or maybe like a uh, kind of like a wish keyboard you know not not something that's too great but uh it, it kind of makes me wonder what kind of person actually returned this back to the amazon warehouse uh if i'm being honest it could have been some like kid from christmas who wondered one that had the back lights but uh, his rich parents was like, oh, sorry, son, uh, we didn't know you wanted, when you say glowing keys, you know, and uh, this is what he got, and now it's mine, so maybe that's what happened, I'm not too sure. Uh, leave in the comments below what you guys think happened. But anyways, you can pick up this keyboard right now for about 40 bucks, which is, in my opinion, I would say a fair price, but uh, if there is any more in the Amazon warehouse, or maybe even any other keyboards in the Amazon warehouse, uh, I would probably just suggest it to be honest every single key works and uh, this seems fine to me so uh, it, it, the whole entire keyboards fine the, the stickers that I got with this they weren't even used they're, they're literally brand new stickers so um, wow yeah but if you are interested go check out those links below yeah um, that's the keyboard here or uh, very nice very beautiful and um, honestly pretty good quality so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in the next one